I guess we all had these friends who are like the toughest when they talk. And when the push comes to shove, they're nowhere to be found. Anyways, we all had this one friend who always says if anything goes down, when we are out in a city, when we are in our nights out, don't worry, I'll fuck them all up. Just do whatever you want. I'll handle it. I have many experiences fighting. He's always the loudest. He's always the scariest. But then he proves himself to be a clown. This is a story of a three guys at a kebab. So this was the squad. Me, my brother and our tough friend. And we took an ecstasy. I don't know even why. We didn't go to the club, it was evening and we were just walking around our city and all of us took one. And we never know when's the right time when it will hit us, when we will start to melt. Anyways, this was two or three years ago. I'm off drugs, I'm completely clean, just to make that clear. This was my dumb days, when I used to have fun doing fucking drugs, now I know how haram and how miserable that is. Never try any drugs. They will not help you. They will just ruin your life, believe me. Anyways, this was one of those days when we are feeling retarded and we wanted to get even more retarded. So we took an ecstasy and we were walking down our city and then somehow we got hungry and we decided to go get a kebab. So the three of us rushed at the best kebab we had in our city and then when the time came for someone to pay we somehow got in a fight i don't know who wanted to pay who didn't want to pay i don't know what the fuck happened but we ended up you know swinging around with money in our hands and i think there was 50 euros in my hand and i was fighting my brother about who should pay i don't know and then we got the kebabs we ate them we don't even remember how and when and then we continued walking and in the middle of nowhere I found out that I didn't pay for the kebabs but there is no 50 euros in my pocket they somehow disappeared and then we remembered that the three gypsy guys behind us were suspicious while we were ordering fucking kebabs they were trying to calm us down they interfered in our fights so that was weird and now we're missing 50 euros out of nowhere okay what the fuck just happened we made a conclusion that somehow those gypsies must have took the money out of our hands while we were swinging around and fighting or that in the middle of that fight someone dropped 50 euros and they just took it from the ground and you know the three of us me my brother and my friend rushed to that kebab and we found those same gypsies ordering the kebabs but something was missing when we started fighting with the gypsies about the money i mean we were just asking hey guys do you know where the fuck our money is we were just here fighting around and somehow we're missing 50 euros do you know something about that they were swearing no 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 it wasn't us we don't know shit okay that wasn't a real fist fight we were just arguing but then we notice something is missing. You know that loud guy, that tough guy, that friend of ours who told us we can do whatever the fuck we want and he will handle the situation? Yeah, he went missing. He completely vaporized. He completely vanished from the face of this earth. He was with us the whole time. He was around us, behind us, while we were walking towards that kebab store. But when we showed up in front of those fucking gypsies, he was nowhere to be found. It was basically a mystery how and when he fucking disappeared. There was just this moment when I stood there and I was looking around like, what the fuck is this guy? And he is nowhere to be found. And the exact moment when we found those gypsies to confront them about our fucking 50 euros, that's the exact moment when the acid kicks in. I mean, not the acid, the ecstasy, whatever. We just tripped our balls. Same moment, we are here to confront them, we're ready for a fist fight, and we started to melt. Our minds are fucking cooked. 
our minds started to melt. And in the middle of all that shit, our friend was nowhere to be found. Anyways, we didn't end up in a fight. We just asked them politely. They acted like they don't know shit. And then, when the fight was over, our friend reappeared again. He disappeared in a second, and then he just reappeared, and the fight was over. I don't know where the fuck was he. Like, he, he was hiding in his own shadow. He just popped out of a thin air, and then reappeared. <laughs> it was mystical, magical, to say the least. Yeah, this is how pussies will operate. They'll use magic, but not their fists. <laughs> when the shit actually is going down, when push comes to shove, <laughs> they will invent magic instead of actually fighting. Goddamn. Anyways, everything just ended up peacefully. Our friend reappeared. We didn't have to report to police that he went missing. He just mystically reappeared after all the trouble was gone. And then when we asked him where the fuck you were, I was around the whole time. How you didn't see me? <laughs> oh boy. And then we heard from the lady who sold us the kebab that after we left, the gypsies were so angry they started, you know, shouting in the middle of a city. The whole town of our locals came there to confront them. And somehow that was a big shit show and she forbid them to ever come to her kebab store ever again. So in the end, if they really took our money, God made them pay for it already. They will never be able to eat a kebab in our city again. And the whole city wanted to kill them. So yeah, somehow God always had my back. Even though my friends were always such a fucking pussies. But the moral of this story is... Don't hang around with pussies. And usually the toughest guy, the loudest guy, in any fucking friend group is the biggest pussy, the biggest cunt. You can probably knock him out in one punch. So, the most dangerous guys are usually like me. I'm never loud, I'm never threatening, I'm never talking shit to anyone, but if you somehow manage to fucking piss me off after all these years of control, if you finally get me to fight you, believe me, it will not end well. But yeah, in conclusion, fuck off all of your pussy friends, they will cost you your life, you will feel safe with them, but they are just talking shit. When shit's about to go down, trust me, all of those loud and tough ones will fucking disappear. They are no help and no use to you. Obviously, always people who talk shit and who talk highly of themselves are just insecure. And actually, the truth is completely the opposite of what they're saying. So be very careful in picking your friends when going out. Because your friends can be your biggest weapon and your biggest disability. It's better to be alone so you know at least what's up than to be with your friends who are talking shit. But deep down, they're all just the fucking cunts. It's maybe better to be alone than with friends who are always full of shit. All right, take care. Don't swing your money in front of gypsies and don't hang around with pussies. Be a man and don't be a fucking cunt.